Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of look like a grandma right now, but if you can't tell, I'm ready for fall. So that's why I'm dressed in a turtleneck, but I can't tell if I like this or if I kind of look like grandma. Anyways, that's not what the video is about today. I don't even know why I'm getting into that. This video, which I asked you guys on Instagram, if you're not following me, please go do so. That way you can get insight knowledge on my videos that I'm making before they even come out. Um, but I did a poll to see which video you guys would be more interested because I love to do that so I know exactly what you guys want to see because this content I'm making is for you guys and I asked if you'd rather see a Loungefly collection video if you don't know what Loungefly is. They are a brand of backpacks, purses, uh what else do they have <laughs> lots of things wallets they have wallets so yeah and i have disney ones obviously because if you are new here i absolutely love disney see i have a lot of disney backpacks and purses and fanny packs even so i thought i would show you guys those that did beat out bullet journal um i have a bullet journal if you guys want to see that just let me know i would be totally open to doing that in the future but lounge fly collection did win over bullet journal so i thought that would be the video that i'm going to do today and i'm pretty much just going to show you all of my disney lounge fly bags um i'm also going to show you my mom's because she also has a lot and um she was like don't you want to show my bags too because I, I have some that are really cool so um i will be showing you my mom's bags as well sorry about the air conditioner it gets really hot in my room so i can't shut it off so i'm sure you will be hearing that but there's nothing i can do about it so but before i start this video please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and leave a comment down below the interaction from those two things alone definitely helps boost my channel so i would really appreciate if you did also if you like me and the content that i create please stick around and subscribe to my channel so you can see more but before i start this video i am going to talk a little bit about my engagement recently with you guys um, I've been struggling a lot with YouTube at the moment, um, just in general making videos and being creative enough to come up with content to make. Um, I haven't really had much motivation and I really want to get back motivated and to get back into making good content for you guys because I've definitely been slacking off with my editing and my creativity recently. So um, please give me any suggestions that would help. Uh, things that you guys liked that I've previously done that way um, I know what to post um, and I don't want me saying this to come off as like oh I, I need views oh I want um, more subscribers no it's just I've noticed recently that you guys have taken a uh, dislike I would say to my videos and um, a lot of you just aren't enjoying them I guess as much as you used to and I could even tell that my videos have definitely uh, started slacking so um, yeah I would just really appreciate it if you guys would um, just give me recommendations on what I can do to improve and I will definitely try harder to improve my videos for you guys I got kind of like sad and not as high energy as I was before let's just get into my Disney lounge fly bags so I honestly I'm just gonna start grabbing them i don't know where i got all of them i don't know the prices of any of them so sorry that's just how it is i'm just gonna show you which ones i have i have this big bin here let's see if i can pick this thing full of bags um i don't even know what's in here i haven't been in this for a while so <laughs> i was just looking i have a lot of bags on my bed too so this is gonna be a long video i should probably just go ahead and get started let's open this up see what we got in here so i guess i'm just gonna go ahead and grab like my first lounge fly bag if i can remember i'm pretty sure this is my first one if not the noel so this is my first lounge fly bag i have not used it in a very long time and it is just this like peachy floral back lounge fly black black pack black pack black pack back pack it's a bambi themed lounge fly backpack it just has thumper and bambi on it and a lot of flowers um, it has a zipper pocket in the front here with a thumper on the little keychain for the zipper um it's pretty smashed because it's been in that box but i really like this color it's so cute and i have not used this in a very long time like i said um kind of forgot i owned it but the inside is just coral with some polka dots or peach whatever this color is um and it has a zipper on the inside as well and like i said a big on the front 
so yeah this is the first one i ever got it was a long time ago i have definitely neglected that one because you could tell it was kind of smushed um but most of these that are in here are probably going to be smushed like this next one that i'm pulling out um it's really smashed i should take better care of these okay so here's the next one and it is the rose gold lounge fly backpack now this one was like super popular and i actually had a friend who worked at disney pick this up for me when it came out like the second time they released it because i couldn't get the first time and i feel like after that you could find it everywhere so <laughs> did that for no reason but yeah this is the next one that i got it's really cute the only thing about this one i don't really care for is that the sequins when you have it on they do kind of like rub up on your arms and stuff and so that kind of hurts a little bit but it is really cute and it has a bow on it with some little ears and it has a front pouch which is so messed up <laughs> um it has some little side pockets here and then the inside which is pink polka dots and there's instead of that's a bug that's a bug it's a bug in my bag nice perfect that's what i get for putting them in a box in the garage anyways it's just the pink polka dots has a little pouch on the inside so ignore the bug and how disgusting i am the next bag that i have is actually not a backpack this time it is a fanny pack and it is the rose gold one just like the last one it's pretty much the same thing just in a fanny pack and so they backpack it has the ears and the little bow and this is what it looks like. I actually love lounge flies fanny packs. Um, I like to wear them like this because they are smaller than a backpack and more convenient sometimes. Um, especially if you're not going to like the parks for a long period of time or something. If you're just running over there real quick at night or whatever, um, I really like these. But here is the inside. It's the same pattern. There's a hair tie in there. Don't, don't ignore that <laughs> but yeah that's that's pretty much it it's just the fanny pack it's cute the back side is rose gold and yeah <laughs> okay moving on i honestly don't remember which one i got next so i'm thinking it might be this one this one is super cute i kind of forgot i had it so i need to use it more but it is an up backpack oh it's so cute i really like the shape of this one it's just a little bit taller than the other ones and the pockets on the side are a lot bigger but it's super cute it's just an up pattern where it has the house um balloons and then it has rainbows and clouds and it's just a really pretty blue color um like i said this one is a little taller so the front pouch is a lot bigger it's a lot taller um i really like this one more than the other ones um just the shape is better what is in here I don't know what this is it's an anklet you you will not be able to see that unless i put my hand behind it yeah i found an anklet nice i love going through old bags never know what you're gonna find anyways yeah cute big pocket in the front two big pockets on the side and then i'll open up this part this also has a little strap here oh wait they all have straps on the top Duh. Oh, there's stuff in here. So that's just what the inside looks like. It's just different colored polka dots. There's no pouch on the inside of this one. And the back is kind of cool. I love the way that the straps are. So um, they're a little different than normal. They have a buckle instead of a like thing that you pull through to tighten them. And then at the top, they are connected by a ring. So they aren't like separate. They're together. I don't know. It just fits more comfor comfortable fits more comfortably on your back than other ones do. Now, something that I found inside of the Up Backpack that I totally forgot I had as well is the wallet <laughs> for the Rose Gold Loungefly collection. Yeah, it's the wallet. I, I had to get all of them. Now looking back, I probably didn't need to do that because I kind of forgot they existed and I haven't used them in so long. So, did I need to buy all three? No, did I? yes but yeah it's it's just a regular wallet it has the zipper part and then it pops open here and it has card slots a clear card slot and then a place for money so the next thing i got is very smushed i feel bad for this bag but this one was super cool and i i really wanted it because it's just really cool this is a clear mickey holographic lounge fly bag i really love this one i think it's so cool the one thing about this that like i i guess i didn't really think of is like everyone can see what you have in your bag so if you have like valuable things 
like my camera that I bring to vlog my trips, people might see that and they could totally try to rip your backpack off of your back and steal your stuff. But you know, it's fine. Like just hold on to it tighter because it's really cute. And I remember like being young and everyone had like the clear backpacks for school and stuff and I always wanted one. So this is kind of like me finally getting one in my adult slash teenage years. But it's pretty much just clear holographic little Mickeys with other little circles around it. It has a smaller front pouch right here. It's pretty flat. The pouch um, just kind of opens up a little bit like that. And then the inside, I mean, you can see there's nothing. It's just an open backpack. And the straps are glittery, but not the glitter that you can feel. They are like they got something over them. I really love this backpack and I think I'm gonna start using it again. Okay, two more things from the box that I opened. Um, and they are both purses actually, instead of backpacks. So the first one is just like the cutest thing ever. And I need to use this more. I always forget about my bags and then I just haven't used them in so long. So this is it. It's so cute. If you don't know, I love Winnie the Pooh. He's literally like my favorite Disney character ever. So this is like the best thing ever for me. I'm pretty sure actually, I'll tell you where I got this one because I remember. Got it on Hot Topic. Hot Topic does have a lot of lounge fly bags. Also Box Lunch if you are interested in finding some. Box Lunch has so many. Those are usually the two places where we get ours. Um, but this is a little crossbody purse. Here's the strap and it's Sherpa material. Come on. And then it has a honey pot on the front. Um, the back is just Sherpa also, it has the logo. I have some keychains on here, so they're making noise. <laughs> but the cool thing about this one is the zipper actually comes with this Winnie the Pooh, Pew, I said that weird. Comes with this Winnie the Pooh keychain on it. Super cute, love him. Um, and the inside just has a little zipper and it's yellow and this one's super cute. I need to wear this more. And another bag that I have, which is actually the last Loungefly product coming out of this box, then I can move on to my newer products. That was the lid, ignore it. This my cousin got for me, so sweet, I love her. And uh, it's another Sherpa purse. Loungefly, you're killing me! But yeah, it's the three little lambs mm. from Toy, oh. I just messed it up. It's the three little lambs from Toy Story. Bo Peep's lambs. Oh, I said lambs. They're sheep. They're sheep. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go. They're definitely sheep. I don't know why I said lambs. Wait, are they sheep or lambs? Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Don't make fun of me, please. They're sheep. And they have names. So we have Billy, Goat, and Gruff. Or Billy, Goat, and Gruff. Um, but they're so cute. They're Sherpa. They have little feet sticking out of the bottom. And their head, oh my goodness, it's adorable. So this is what the actual bag looks like. It's another crossbody. Um, it's so adorable. Here's the inside. What is the inside? Oh, polka dots again. I feel like most of my bags have been polka dots on the inside. But yeah, and then it has a zipper pouch on the inside. So this is like one of my most favorite things probably because it's just so cute. And um, yeah, I need to use this more when we go to Disney. So probably will use it this trip. Stay tuned for those videos, by the way, because they're going to be coming out pretty soon after this one. Okay, we're finally done with that bin. Now I'm actually going to move on to my newest lounge fly bags that I've gotten recently. And then we'll move on to my mom's. I'm going to start off off with something that's not a backpack again but it is this fanny pack that has the gang on it not the original gang but the Duffy and Friends gang I love Duffy and Friends so much like I've been wanting to go to Tokyo Disney can't now because of COVID but I absolutely love the Duffy and Friends um, collections that they do I think they're so cute Gelatoni is my favorite the little cat even though I don't like cats. Um, I also love Olu. He's super cute. But yeah, this is just one of my favorite things I've ever seen. They had this at the Polynesian in Disney World when I went a couple months back because Alani is closed or was. I'm not sure if they're open now, but um, they did sell this at Alani in Hawaii and they brought it to Polynesian so that you could actually purchase some of the stuff. This is probably one of my most favorite fanny packs ever because it can store so much. This front pouch 
is actually pretty decently big. Those are band-aids in there. <laughs> um, and the inside is just like a teal blue color. And then this pouch at the top is also nicely sized. Like it can just fit so much in here. So this is definitely one of my most favorite fanny packs ever. We're gonna move on to another backpack that I have, which um, he might look familiar because we just talked about him, but I haven't been able to use this one yet and I'm so excited to use this. This is my Olu backpack. Look at him. He's so cute. Can you believe this? He's, I just, I can't. We got him at Polynesian as well. And his little hat, are you kidding me? If you don't know like the story behind like Olu and Duffy and Friends, I would definitely check it out. They're super cute. They all have little professions that they do. I'm pretty sure he plays music because he has like a little ukulele. But he's so cute. I cannot with him. It's the original style of backpacks, which I don't honestly love the style. But like, I just, I can't. Like he's, he's so cute. I actually don't have like a, a character backpack where it's like their face and their body or whatever um so this is super fun but he has the original like front pouch area the inside oh is the same and then you open him up here and oh man that is so cute i didn't actually look on the inside that's the material of the inside it's just like him playing instruments Oh, he's like blowing into a shell. So cute. Oh, he's adorable. Anyways, this is um, the back as well. It's supposed to like mimic his shell, I'm pretty sure. And then it has a little Mickey. So this is one of my new favorites. Um, he's adorable and I can't wait to use him. I'm gonna save my favorite for last. So we'll move on to my second favorite. More that I haven't been able to use yet that I really wanna use. And this next one, I haven't even taken the plastic off here, but this is Moana! Oh wait, this is actually not Loungefly. I forgot, this is Daniel Nicole. I'm still gonna put it in because it still looks like a Loungefly, but it's Daniel Nicole. I messed up on that, but it's still super cute. I wanna show you guys. So this is my Moana backpack from Daniel Nicole, not Loungefly. And she's so cute. It's baby Moana with a turtle. And this leaf here is actually textured, like it's raised. Um, and then you have three leaves here around the backpack you have a leaf on the side pocket and a leaf on this side pocket and it's just so cute like I, I it's adorable the the rest of the bag is just tan so cute I can't wait to use her the inside is just black because it's not like a lounge fly bag so it's it is a little bit different and there is a zipper on the inside as well I have some stuff in here so I'm not going to <laughs> show you all of the inside but this is my Moana Daniel Nicole backpack. Sorry about that one. I really thought it was Loungefly for a minute there. I totally forgot it's Daniel Nicole. But let's go on to the next Loungefly backpack that I have. And it's honestly probably my most favorite. And this is it. It is the coolest backpack ever. I mean, like, it's the design that I love so much. It's just like, look at this design. It's a Lion King design, looks like it's painted on. It's so beautiful and the rest of the bag is kind of like a suede feeling or a leather, something like that. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's brown. It's just, it is the cutest backpack ever. Like this thing was so hard to find. It's sold out everywhere. Um, my mom actually surprised me with it. She found it off of, I think Amazon, I wanna say. Surprisingly, it wasn't crazy expensive. It was actually pretty decently priced. Super amazing design on the front. It looks like it's painted or drawn on. Um, there is a very small zipper here. Um, oh, I zipped it. It doesn't hold much, but it is really, oh no, it's really shallow. I was gonna say it's really deep. It goes to about here. It doesn't really hold much, but it can hold just like, I guess, necessities that you just need quickly. And the inside is just green and it has a zipper here as all Loungefly do. Um, and I forgot I have another Loungefly product in here that I didn't even think about. But anyways, let's finish off with this bag. This is my favorite Lion King Loungefly backpack. Now I'll show you the product that was inside because I, again, I totally forgot I own this, but it's a Rapunzel Loungefly wallet with a little Pascal, super cute. It is embroidered, so like all of her hair and the flowers and some features on Pascal are embroidered into this wallet. Here's just what it looks like. It's pretty basic. You just 
open it it has some card slots just like the other wallet and then the money slot and then there is a zipper part super cute design on the inside as well but yeah this is my rapunzel wallet now we will move on to my mom's backpacks that she has she has quite a few as well that she gave me i'll just start off with the one that she probably uses the most at the moment and that is her Beauty and the Beast Lounge Fly Backpack. This is honestly one of my favorites that she has too. It's just so pretty, the design on it. And the colors are pastel. You have Belle and Beast walking down the staircase and the shape of it as well is just the best. I, we love like the rounded, or not the rounded, the like longer rounded ones. <laughs> that makes sense. But it has pockets on the side, no pocket in the front because that would mess up the design, but it's just so cute. It doesn't even matter. And it is a really pretty pastel yellow, but it's kind of hard to tell on camera. It's not really showing the true color. And she does have this packed right now, like there is stuff in here. So I'm not really gonna show you too much of the inside, but I will just give you a little peek of what it looks like. There is the design. The pink polka dot is something else. She has like an insert in here, but the design of it is just Belle and Beast in the castle. So this one is one of our favorites. Let's move on to the next one. Here's one that she hasn't got to use yet and it's really cute. Here's the thing with me and my mom. We're totally gonna share these backpacks. So they're kind of like mine too and mine are like hers as well. This one I probably will be stealing. And it is this adorable Winnie the Pooh backpack. Again, Winnie the Pooh, my favorite. I really like the design on this one. I like that it's more neutral colors and it's not super in your face. Like you can't really tell it's Winnie the Pooh unless you look at it closely. But it's a really pretty blue denim color with polka dots on it. And then this brown color with this like design in it. I don't know what you could call this, maybe chevron. And then this illustration on here is so cute. It's just all of the characters in a circle with some flowers. And then what does it say on it? It says, today is full of possibilities. That's so cute. It has pockets on the side as well. Um, and instead of a zipper, this actually has a button clasp, which um, I don't know how I love that because I feel like that's easy for people to steal, but it's, it's whatever. Or you could lose something out of that. But the magnets are pretty strong, I will say, so I'm hoping nothing happens with that. Um, and the inside, let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's really cute, but I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Um, it's just a dark blue design. It has, I think it has poo. Oh, it has everyone on it. It's the same as the front. It just has everyone on it and then like some floral designs in there. And of course, a zipper pocket. So this one is adorable. Uh, which one should I do next? This is hard. I'm trying to decide because I want to show you like my favorites last. So we'll do this one. This one my mom absolutely loved and so we got it for her as her anniversary present and it is this Safari mini backpack. Super cute. It actually still has the, uh, the tag and everything on it because we haven't been able to use this one yet but we're probably going to use it when we go this time. But it's just so cute. It's another like character face one and it's mini in her safari outfit i love the detail on her it's super adorable it has side pockets i don't know if these are real oh that's real oh it doesn't do anything <laughs> i thought there's like another pocket it just buttons oh uh, but it does have side pockets here and here that's pretty much it let's look at the inside oh cute it has little sayings on it what do they say adventure safari life disney's animal kingdom adventure awaits and then it just has has like some safari jungle animals on it. It's really cute and I think it's gonna be adorable when my mom wears it. <laughs> Next one is another one that I'm definitely gonna be stealing for this trip. <laughs> and this one is a Remy backpack from Ratatouille. Um, I also just realized that this is Daniel Nicole. It is not Loungefly. I'm really failing at that. So ignore that. I'm putting it in this video, but it's really cute and I want to show you again. Uh, but it is Daniel Nicole. It is just Remy, just kind of going to different places, eating some different foods. You got the Eiffel Tower. You got, what are these? You got Gusto's. You got the Arc something. I've been there and yet I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, it's super cute. I'm definitely gonna be using this for the opening of the Remy's Ratatouille ride. What's it called? Remy's Ratatouille Adventure or something like that. It has the big pocket on the front with stuffed in it. <laughs> Two pockets on the side again and then in here and the inside doesn't have anything on it. And then it has a zipper in the back and it has these little 
pouches in the front. I honestly cannot wait to use this one. Now we're moving on to my second to last favorite that my mom has that she also hasn't been able to use. A lot of these she got since the last time we've been to Disney, so she hasn't been able to use them, but this is definitely one of my favorites of hers. And it is a Todd and Copper backpack. I love Todd and Copper. The first time I ever watched Fox and the Hound, um, I was actually pretty old. I had never seen it before. At least if I had, I was really young and I didn't remember. And we watched it at Disney in our hotel and I cried <laughs> when I watched it. It's super sad. Um, and I've actually rarely cried for a Disney movie. Like I'm getting teary eyed just thinking about it. So it's definitely one of my favorite Disney movies, I have to say and they are just so cute. This is another one of those backpacks that kind of looks like it's drawn or painted on um, and it does have some texture to it and then it's that same like suede leather feeling um, and it's this beautiful brown color that I love. It has no pocket on the front because it would get in the way of the design has the pockets on the side like every other one and then before i show the inside i really want to show you the back of the bag and on the back it just has a saying and it has todd and copper sitting there and it says we'll always be friends forever won't we and i think that's just so cute and it has a little dog bone here for the zipper super cute and i don't remember what it looks like on the inside oh that's so cute i feel like i've said that for everyone it's just like a really fall design with some dog bones and um it has a zipper too so it's so cute and it does see their names i'm pretty sure i see todd and copper in there what i just now found out that todd spells his name t-o-d instead of t-o-d-d -D, which is interesting so that's really funny i never knew that if you could see my mountain over here of bags it's ridiculous like we have a problem i'm gonna move on to my favorite backpack that my mom has saving the best for last but this is a Disneyland backpack. This is Disneyland's 65th anniversary and I've only been to Disneyland once but this backpack is so cool to me also because it is Disneyland and you know we don't really have anything Disneyland here because I don't live near Disneyland. Honestly I love the little like design of the backpack where it's kind of like a cutesy animation and the blue color is really pretty. Also something really cool about this backpack is on the back it says Disneyland Resort's 65th anniversary so I think that's really cool. I love getting anniversary pieces because you know it's only one time that it's gonna happen so. There's also something really cool about this bag is that the straps. I don't remember how to do this but there's something really cool about the straps. <laughs> you can use it as a crossbody like this if you have one strap on and then you can I think attach the straps in some way obviously that would make it like a backpack. I think that's really cool that you can kind of switch it up and that's the thing that sold me on this and I was like mom like you have to pick that one. <laughs> and it does actually have a pocket in the front so here it has a button and it does open up and there's a pocket there so that's really cool it also has you know everything from disneyland on it so it has the castle you've got toontown uh splash mountain small world uh matterhorn is that what it's called matterhorn um space mountain jungle cruise the big thunder you know just all that cool stuff and then the inside just has like their 65th anniversary design on it with some characters on the inside i think this one's really cool that's why it's my favorite is just because of the i guess being able to change it from a purse to a backpack thing um i've never seen that before Okay, so that was all of my lounge fly backpacks, purses, wallets, fanny packs. We definitely have a problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna lay off from buying any for a while. I'm gonna show you this pile over here because I think it's hilarious. Here's my pile. Um yeah, we have a problem. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this lounge fly collection video. And again, if you have any recommendations on what you'd like to see from my channel, always leave them down below. And please, please, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, even sharing it can definitely help boost my channel if you guys do enjoy my content. Um, I would honestly really appreciate it because it really does help. But again, thank you guys so much for supporting me and always being here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.